there's one thing that I'm going to share with you triathletes now that is going to instantly help you improve the strength work that you're doing at home, particularly in relation to your upper body. That's not only going to help your performance, particularly once we get out of this and back swimming and back much more into normal training, but it's also going to make sure you don't run into niggles with your shoulders. And that's to do with the amount of pushing exercises that you're doing in relation to pulling exercise. Extensive experience, not from just coaches like myself in strength and conditioning, but also extensive science shows that if we do too much work which strengthens through the front of the shoulders, posturally it's going to put our shoulder, particularly here what we call our glenohumeral joint, in a position that's going to create things like shoulder impingement, swimmer shoulder, and all the things that we don't want as a triathlete, which are also going to inhibit your performance because you won't be able to put as much power through that area there, which is pretty rubbish if you think about it, when you're gripping onto the handlebars, when you're hitting that red line, or you're powering down the lanes or back out in the open water when we get out of this. So here are my three biggest, highest quality professional strength and conditioning tips for your upper body training in relation to your push and pull work to give you the best chance of doing the best quality home workout you can do as a triathlete. And three examples of pulling strength exercises that you could easily do at home. To begin with a single arm banister pull up, something we've created that's practical and really effective, where you could use a banister rail at the bottom of a staircase or sturdy upright at home. If that's a bit tricky, again, you could do something like a reverse fly. Again, you don't need much weight for this, but a single arm reverse fly where we set our shoulder blade and pull that shoulder blade around the spine to engage those muscles nice at the middle and lower parts of your shoulder blade. And then finally, again, you can use bands in a whole host of ways. If you haven't got a really strong, sturdy upright, a really simple way is to uh, tie it and knot it around the feet as demonstrated and do a single arm pulling position from there as well at the same time. So there are a host of ways of not only why pulling strength work is critical for you, but particularly now when being at home and loads of push stuff could be done, making sure that you don't come unstuck and you can get your shoulders performing as well as possible for your triathlons ahead.